Hi everyone and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to bring you an amazing video of 12 genius decorating ideas that you can use all throughout the year to elevate your holiday decor. So if you want to use the things that you already have in your home and just add little festive touches, then this is the video for you, so stay tuned. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that little notification bell, and on the drop down menu, click all so you're notified about all notifications. I upload a bunch of times a month and I have so many great ideas for content coming up. We're gonna do a nursery makeover, playroom makeover, kitchen organization, master bedroom refresh, and then we're gonna start getting into summer DIYs and getting my backyard ready for the summer so you don't want to miss a thing so click on those notifications if you're not like me and go a little crazy and you just want to be minimalistic with your holiday decor then this is for you now keep in mind that I am using St. Patrick's as an example. I was not gonna decorate for St. Patrick's at all and then I found out I was having company come over and my house was bare because I had taken all of my Valentine stuff down and I have not put my spring stuff up yet. So I was like, oh my gosh, this house looks boring. So I decided to whip out my St. Patrick's Day bin. I only have one. Plus my mom brought some of the stuff she doesn't use anymore. So with those things combined, I'm going to show you how to add simple touches to your home. All right. Now the first hack I have for you is candlesticks or candles. So by changing up your candlesticks or candle holders, you can really elevate and switch up the look of your decor. Now I made this mantle go from Valentine's by using red candlesticks and we're going to switch it up with some green or gold candlesticks. All right. So I got four gold candlesticks and these all came from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to keep the wrapping on because I have to decide which ones I'm actually going to use. I got two dark green candles and I got two light green candles because I want to see what's going to look best. While we're on the subject of candles and candlesticks, I want to remind you of the hack that I use to make my candles stand up straight. You're just going to add some aluminum foil. So because I already have this, I'm going to go ahead and take this off of the ones that I already have. And for my candlesticks today, I'm just going to use these $1.25 candlesticks from the Dollar Tree. They are out in stores now. I just saw some the other day in my store, but I picked up a bunch when I saw them a couple months ago because I knew that I could use these all year round. Let's go ahead and just kind of test out which colors look best on my mantle. All right, so to start off, I am actually going to mix and match the greens. So I'm gonna put one light green candle on one side with a dark candle. Then on the other side, I'm gonna try two gold candles. You're gonna have to let me know down in the comments which look you like best. Now, I don't mention it in this video, but let's see if you catch which one I went with. Okay, so as you can see, we have, we have two green ones right here, and I kind of played with the colors a little bit. And then we have two gold. So I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to add all the other stuff onto my mantle and I'm going to see what I like better. All right, my second hack for you today is florals and planters. By switching up the planters for each season, you can really bring in that holiday for little to no cost at all. I had these green buckets from a DIY I did a while ago. So I'm just simply gonna put these plants right here in these buckets. Now, if you notice, I used some plants just kind of like these, but they had hearts on them for Valentine's Day and I have them just in different planners. But I'm gonna show you how I can switch up the look and go from St. Patrick's to Easter or spring. All right, so there you see I switched up the uh, planters and now it's St. Patrick's Day. So now I'm gonna go in with this planter. I'm gonna switch one out. And voila, now you have spring. So if you just invest in some good little plants, then that's all you need to do is to switch up the planter that it's in for every season. Now, don't forget my biggest tip of all, invest in red decor. Red decor you can use at least three, possibly four times a year. Christmas, Valentine's Day, 
4th of July and if you like to incorporate red in your fall decor you can use it then too. So I always invest in red decor because you get the most bang for your buck and that red decor can go a long way and last you a good part of the year. All right so we are decorating for St. Pat so let me put this back. My third tip for you is to go along with these florals is floral picks. Now I have these cute little hats. They technically aren't floral picks, but I'm going to place them on top of my planters just to add a little St. Patrick flair. Okay, I think those hats are super cute, super fun, and St. Patrick's, I do like to go a little bit more whimsical and fun because I just think it's a fun holiday. Adding a pick to a floral arrangement you already have is a simple and cost-effective way to decorate for the holiday. So now we're going to move on to my fourth hack, which is a wreath. So if you get an all year round wreath, you can easily change the look up of your decor by changing out the sign. So I have this simple wreath right here and I am just gonna pair it with a St. Patrick's Day sign. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to put it over some of the stems and I like it when signs are in the middle of my wreath there and then I'm just going to twist some of the branches back and now it's attached. So let's go ahead and hang this on the mantle. All right, there we go. Now we have the wreath that I can change out the sign. I have the planners that I can also change out and the candlesticks and the floral picks I can change out. So those are four hacks for you that you can do today to decorate for a holiday. All right, another decorating hack I have for you is blankets. Now, all of these blankets you're gonna see, I already have because I like to decorate for fall with greens. Plus, I use them for Christmas. So if you just invest in some, I would say red, black, white, and green decor, you can use it so many times throughout the year that you're not breaking the bank. So you've probably, if you've been following me for a while, have seen what I do with this basket. All I'm gonna do is stick a green blanket kind of hanging out of it. And then just to break up all the darkness here, I have this stem that I'm simply just going to pop right there and that's it. Now I have my little leprechaun girl and I do have a leprechaun boy over there which you're gonna see in a minute, but I just thought that this was so cute just to go ahead and throw in a basket and pair with my little leprechaun people. Okay, so my next hack for you is vase filler. Now you can get this at Hobby Lobby, you can get it at the Dollar Tree, but basically it's just these foam pieces. I have shamrocks, I have gold coins. So anything that you can find that match the season, you can use hearts for Valentine's Day, you can use stars for 4th of July. You know Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby, at least those two stores always have this kind of filler. All right, now the next hack I have for you are stickers or decals. And by decals, I mean window decals. These are some window clings that I've had from years past. So I'm just gonna add them in the front of these planters here, these buckets. That way it just elevates it even more. And this sheet of decals are gonna go a long way in my home. All right, my next hack or idea for you are pillows. Now, I just so happen to have these pillows in my stash, my big decor stash. So these are perfect for me to bring out for St. Patrick's Day. I also use them for Christmas, so I'm using them multiple times a year. And by just throwing some decorative pillows onto your couch or an accent chair or a bench, you are gonna elevate that space. Now, another idea that you can also do that I usually do are pillow cases. Amazon has a variety of different kind of themed pillowcases that you can buy for every holiday or every season. Now I opted not to do that for St. Patrick's Day because I have these green pillows, but I usually do do this for all the other holidays. Now I did invest in some pillow inserts. I will have the link down below. 
in my description box if you want to pick those up. It came in a four pack and I can use them throughout the entire year. So it was definitely a great investment. I also find that buying pillow covers are great for saving space because then you don't have to come up with a place to store all of your big bulky pillows. You can just fold up your pillowcases, put them in a Ziploc bag and throw them in the decor bin when you are done using them. All right, another hack I have for you are kitchen towels. By adding a kitchen towel to various places in your kitchen, you can bring in some colorful, festive holiday vibes and for not that much at all. Plus, kitchen towels are functional, so not only does it look cute, but you can use them as well. Another hack for you to change up your seasonal decor is to change out the hand soap. Now you can do this in the bathroom and you can do this in the kitchen. I'm gonna do it in my kitchen today, but all I did was went to the Dollar Tree and I bought some green hand soap. So all I'm gonna do is just place it by my kitchen and I'm gonna go back to one of my previous hacks and add a decal to make it even look more like St. Patrick's Day decor. Another one of my hacks that I have for you are picture frames. By switching up the picture frames around the pictures that you already have, you can add some colorful touches to your holiday decor. Now, I do not have a green picture frame, but here's an example of me switching out my blue 4th of July picture frame with a wood frame for fall. That is a perfect example on how I spent $1.25 to upgrade my frame and bring it into the season. Here's another ash tip for you. I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought this really cute sparkly gold frame. I also bought this greeting card. I think that together they're going to look so cute and hey, it's another really cheap way to add some St. Patrick's Day decor. The Dollar Tree offers a variety of different holiday greeting cards that you can pick up either for one for a dollar or two for a dollar. And hey, that's cheaper than all the other stuff in the store since it's $1.25. Now, you don't have to go to the Dollar Tree, of course. You can pick up any greeting card from your favorite place to shop. Taking one picture frame and just switching the picture inside of it by using cards or cardstock is such a great way to simply change up your decor and it doesn't cost that much either. Now, I did have to cut this card down to fit into the frame, but hey, you can't beat this very simple decor hack. Okay, now you saw how easy that was to go ahead and put a greeting card into this frame. I also purchased an Easter greeting card that I can switch out next month or in a few weeks after St. Patrick's Day. So I can go ahead and use this for some really simple and affordable Easter decor. The next hack I have for you are holiday napkins. Walmart, Target, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, the list goes on and on of all the places that sell decorative holiday napkins. If you add these napkins to your napkin holder that you already have, you will dress up your table. Not only that, but napkins are functional, so of course you can use them as well. Another hack that I have for you is a themed coffee mug. So I have a St. Patrick's Day theme mug that I'm just gonna go ahead and stick right on my Keurig and adding this little touch totally took this from drab to fab. I hate saying that, but it, it made it look more festive. Now, you know me, this really isn't how I roll. So I think we should just go for it and I say we decorate the whole coffee bar for St. Patrick's Day. So you knew I had to throw some Ashley decorating in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top shelf with my Ray Dunn coffee, sugar, and tea canisters. And of course, in the tea canister, there's a little leprechaun popping out. On either side, I'm gonna go ahead and add a shamrock. These were in my stash for years and years and years. Moving down to the second shelf, I'm gonna add this gold charger. I felt like it mimicked a gold coin and I really love that. So then I'm gonna add this Ray Dunn pot of gold <laughs> canister right in front. Now I like to use these white plates to use as risers and I'm just going to stick a Ray Dunn mug and topper on each one.
Next, I'm going to go in with these glass canisters. And of course, I have to fill one with Skittles. It just reminded me of the rainbow and who doesn't love Skittles? In the other jar, I'm gonna go ahead and add these Lucky Charms marshmallows. I picked these up at a local candy shop. If you can't find these, of course, you can just add some Lucky Charms to the jar. So now that they are filled, I'm going to add them in between the Ray Dunn pieces on my second shelf. Next, I'm gonna take these little filler pieces that I got from the Target Dollar Spot this year, and I'm just gonna put those on the second shelf as well and then we're going to move down to the coffee bar and decorate a tiered tray. So I got this two-tiered tray from Hobby Lobby a few years ago and on the top I'm going to add my Over the Rainbow Ray Dunn mug and topper and then I have this little candle votive holder and the shamrocks and shenanigans little piece that I got from the Target dollar spot. Next, I'm going to add this pot of gold uh, decor piece on the bottom. And then next to that, I'm going to add this cauldron mug that I got from the Target dollar spot. And I'm going to use one of my hacks and use some vase filler to put right inside. Now, I did stuff the mug with some napkins. That way, I didn't have to fill the whole mug with vase filler. And I'm also going to add some gold coins that I got from the Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to add my staple piece which is a little white truck and again I'm going to use some vase filler to throw right in the bed of the truck along with more gold coins. Adding more to the bottom, I'm going to add this little pot of gold piece that I got in that set from the Target dollar spot. And then I'm going to go in with this You Are My Lucky Charm sign that I got from Hobby Lobby this year. After that, I'm going to add my rainbow beaded garland that I actually got from Dollar Tree. Now, I really loved this rainbow beaded garland. It was, it was done for me, but I did not like the rainbow, so I just went ahead and cut it off and replaced it with a wooden shamrock that I already had in my stash, and that made it more look like St. Patrick's Day. Then I'm going to go ahead and add this little leprechaun sign that I did get from the Target dollar spot. Now, after this, this tier tray just gave me such a hard time trying to figure out where to place everything. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up for you and show you the final pieces. So I did decide to add a little cutting board to the back and this little leprechaun that was in my mom's St. Patrick's Day decor bin and that she no longer uses, so I decided to add it. Moving on to the mug rack, I'm only going to add two mugs and I picked these because they had gold stars on them. There are horoscope ones, Taurus and Libra, but I liked the gold touches. And then of course I have the coffee mug in the Keurig. For the final touch, I'm going to go ahead and add this happy St. Patrick's Day sign to the top of the coffee bar and that's it. That completed my St. Patrick's Day coffee bar and it is so ready for the top of the morning. <laughs> That was a terrible Irish accent. Anyways, let me know what you think.
I absolutely love these little touches that I added for St. Patrick's Day. And this just goes to show you that you do not have to have a ton of decor to decorate for the holidays. By using the staple pieces that I already had, I just changed up the colors and the theme, and that way it brought a little festive touch to my home. I wanna challenge you to use five of these ideas or hacks in your St. Patrick's Day or Easter or 4th of July decor, any holiday coming up. Comment down below and let me know if you did and which five hacks you used. The best part is you don't have to use all of them to make your house look festive. Hopefully this video helped give you more ideas and inspiration on how you can add little touches of the holidays into your house. And I'm really anxious to see if you like videos like this. I have been decorating my home for years and years, no matter what home I was in, I moved a lot. And I've always loved decorating it, so I just thought that I would compile a list of my favorite things to switch out for every holiday that, you know, makes such a huge impact. And the best part about it is that they are all budget friendly and cost effective. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this video and if you want to see more like it. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you loved this video, give this video a thumbs up. It truly does help my channel to grow. And that is one of my big goals in 2023 is to grow my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. And hey, until I see you again, I'll decorate with you soon. Bye.